Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay, hi. Um, I'll first introduce Francesca Rosello. Um, she's a fashion designer and chief creative di director of Cute Circuit. She's very outgoing and relaxed. Sure. <laughs> and I'm Ryan Gens, uh, CEO of Cute Circuit. And as he mentioned, Cute Circuit is a wearable technology company. We design technology that you can wear or fashion that includes a bit of technology. And it's interactive. And we've been doing this for quite a while. Um, we started in the United States in 2004, and then we started our second limited company in the UK in 2006. So we've been going in the UK for a while. And now we moved all our creative offices in the UK. So we just have the US office does serious things, the London office does the fun stuff. <coughs> I keep lighting, sorry. And, um, so let, let's talk about a bit, bit about the hug shirt because I can see everybody's watching the movie up here. So we'll jump straight into the hug shirt. <laughs> um, this is just a looping animation to give you an idea what the hug shirt's all about. But as he mentioned, uh, the hug shirt is, it's one of the older things that we designed. The design started at when? 2003, 2002. And we've been working on it forever. And uh, basically it started because we were like, uh, sort of like interviewing people. And we were asking, if you could wish for something right now, what would you wish for? And every single person we interviewed, there were like probably 50 people that we interviewed, and 48 said that they needed to be hugged. One said he wanted a coffee, and one said he wanted a pizza. So these two, which sort of like made them happy right away, coffee, pizza, they were going home. The other ones were like, okay, why do you want to be hugged? And everybody said, well, because I miss my friends, I miss like my sister is far away, or my boyfriend lives on the opposite side of the world. And so I really want to feel close to someone. So immediately that sort of framed the, the design problem. Um, we have all this wonderful technology. We can send text across the world. You can pick up the phone and send your voice across the world. Why can't you send a hug across the world? So, so it was kind of complicated to do. We were, like, we were thinking, well, how do we embody a hug? How do we make it physical and without having to carry a person with you all the time, especially if they're far away? So we came up with the idea of the hug shirt. And basically, the hug shirt is the world's first haptic telecommunication device. And basically, haptic means sense of touch. And so imagine you're here in Rotterdam, and your best friend is in Tokyo, and you want to send him a hug. You put on this shirt, you give yourself a squeeze, and sensors in these pink areas capture where you're touching, for how long time, and how strong. All this data goes Bluetooth into your cell phone, and is transformed into a hug message by a really cute application that is called Hug Me. And when your friend back in Tokyo receives the message, it says, well, there is Francesca sending you a message, there is a hug, you want to feel it. And of course, my friend is wearing the hug shirt all the time, she's going to say, yes! And her shirt is going to get warm and vibrate in the same areas that I touched on my shirt. So if I gave myself a pat on the shoulder, then my friend is going to feel a pat on this very same shoulder. And it's and kind of fun. I'm going to tell you a little bit about <coughs> the in inspiration with the animation, since a lot of people are still watching that. Um, <laughs> the, as you can see, he's just receiving a hug. He's on his skiing vacation. Now he says, oh, what a great idea, a hug. I'm going to send it to my grandparents. A lot of elderly people have expressed a lot of interest in the hug shirt, so we think that that's um, a, a really good opportunity. <laughs> and uh, kids, when we showed it in New York City, the kids had all kinds of crazy ideas. They were talking about, I could send uh, it to Miley Cyrus and give a hug to my favorite pop stars. Um, or I could use the hug shirt not to send hugs, but to telecommunicate. What if we had a secret code where in the middle of class, when we're taking a test, you want to know what the answer is. This means A, this means B. <laughs> the teacher will never even know we're passing secrets. <laughs> and uh, the other thing that a lot of people ask is, does it come in different colors? So of course, yeah, it's going. But it's washable. That's yes. the amazing thing. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> what, I mean, what do you do if your hug shirt starts to get smelly? I mean, if you have some exciting hugs, you might need to wash it so pretty soon. Um, <laughs> and so the hug shirt is washable. And uh, but that's one of the big challenges, sort of, to relate back to um, Sabine's mm -hmm. talk. Um, you know, it's r to come up with a concept. That's one thing. But then to figure out how to manufacture it and how to make it washable so that people can actually use it and figure out all the interface tweaks. Uh, we've been through several generations of just the handset software. So that's one yeah. of the challenges in designing wearable And we've been like probably through already six generations of uh, hug shirt prototypes. And the first one when we started was just huge because it has so much technology inside that it didn't exist really small. So most of the technology we had to invent, we had to invent our own sensors and just build everything out of fabric. And we had to invent our own connections. So uh, it, it, it was a very interesting process. <laughs> yeah, what do you want to say? Can you talk about the very first prototype? Oh, yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. <coughs> the very first hug shirt, uh, in order to squeeze you, in order to give you a hug, 
it had uh, big balloons inside that inflated almost like a blood pressure cuff. You know when you get your blood pr pressure taken, it inflates and squeezes your arm? And uh, so it, there was about eight or ten of these pumps <laughs> that were <laughs> the, you know, the size of a small hamburger uh, all over the shirt. And, uh, and basically so basically looked like a rugby player, just very huge one. Uh, just to power the batteries, uh, just to power the pumps, you need a lot of batteries. So you imagine somebody puts this thing on, right? And there's pumps everywhere. And then all of a sudden they get the hug and people screamed. <laughs> yeah, they were, they were so frightened because <laughs> it was too strong. Uh, so now we're using very different technology inside, but, um, and, and now people like it. So a little bit later, we, do you want to do demos? Yeah, 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 the little one we, we can do a demo and yeah. you can get hugged. Now I want to say some other things about it. Um, basically, we've been working on it very, very long and uh, we are basically doing pre-production engineering right now because the hug share should be out later this year. And uh, there are some telecommunication providers that now are playing with it on their networks too. So you might see this pink one, you might recognize which provider it is. That's their shirt. <laughs> and it's really, really interesting because they immediately latched on onto this because of course there is sort of like a social value to it because you can allow people to be connected in a different way. So it's like sort of more intimate way. Maybe you're in a meeting, you cannot really pick up a call from your best friend, but they can give a squeeze on your arm and you just feel a little bit more relaxed. Uh, or maybe if you're having an exam, it's cool. But it was very interesting because we did probably the largest user testing of a wearable technology to date. Probably more than 3,000 people tried it. We presented it at Next Fest two years in a row in Brazil, everywhere in the world. And it's just amazing because basically the thing that we did is that we created a platform that is like sort of like modular and is washable and it has sensors that you can plug and play. But every person can see a different use for it. Like we have like the blunt blind people association, they think it's a communication tool. Then there is maybe monitoring for the elderly, and that's also very useful. And then there is really just a fun application for people that live far away from their loved ones. And those 3,000 people that tried it on, and also when, when, it, when we showed it at Wired Next Fest, initially, the very, when we first showed the hug shirt, it was just a, a design concept. We, because we're a wearable technology company, we work in many different types of wearable technology. But we wanted a, a, a really, a kind of compelling example, like here's something really unique you could do with wearable technology. And as soon as we showed it, the, the, the response from people was mm -hmm. overwhelming. And so then we started to think, wait a minute, this might be a, a really good idea. So and it, it was really interesting because we got like, when we were on Time Magazine, we got three million people coming to our website in less than three weeks trying to buy this product. So, and it took us really, really long time. I mean, we couldn't sleep anymore for two weeks. We were getting like, Opera calling us at three in the morning, say, I need them tomorrow. And I was like, hey, we don't have them. So it was really, really interesting to, to see how the product has developed. And uh, we really had to overcome a huge amount of technical difficulties because from the first prototype to the prototype we have now that is all like sealed and there's no water going in and it's powered just with like three volts. You can jump in a bathtub full of water, it's not gonna shock you. And uh, it's completely like RHS compliant. It's mean, it means that there's no mercury, no lead inside. The, all the materials that conduct electricity are textiles and they're coated in silver. So there's no risk of, like, of allergies or any other thing. Because if you put a product like this on the market, you don't want people to sue you right away as soon as it goes out. So we want to make sure that it's really well done and it's taking us ages. And we, we get sometimes this, uh, we sort of have a fun club online and they keep asking us, oh, when is it coming out, when is it coming <laughs> out? And it's just like, we, we are just like... Some of them get angry. Yeah, but sometimes they get really <laughs> angry, but we're trying really to do the best as we can to engineer this thing and just send it out. And I think it's sort of almost the delivery of a child. I, I think we're getting close to our time limit. Anyone, uh, anyone tracking that? No? Uh, yeah, I'm tracking it. And I think it's yeah. about time yeah. for okay. a demonstration. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Can we ask a volunteer? Yeah, yeah, right. a volunteer, but it has to be tiny. Like a tiny a volunteer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're a fantastic candidate. Please come forth. So you, you need While she's getting dressed, I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. Um, I'm far away on a business trip, and I, and I want to send a hug back home, okay? And uh, because she's got the hug shirt, and I don't happen to have one today, um, I have a few pre-recorded hugs in the software. 
All right, so I'm, uh, I'm launching Hug Me Software here. And uh, I, I gave you a microphone. Okay. Okay. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna choose phone hug, which is the pre-recorded hugs, rather than record one with my own shirt. I, c I can choose either. And uh, I got six options here. They're they're flavors of hugs. I got Mamma Mia, friendship, sweet dreams, love bugs, squeeze me, and wow yeah. It's kind of wow yeah. <laughs> okay. It's more warming so than the Mamma Mia. I chose Wow Yeah. So I'm putting in uh, my friend's phone number. And I'm sending the hug. Now. It says, can I send a hug message? I say yes. And uh, in a couple seconds, it's going to say, uh, there you go, hug sent. So that's it. I'm done. I go about my business. I'm, I hug my friend. So now Ryan is using an Italian phone, and I'm using a British one, and they're both roaming. So we hope he comes back. <laughs> And it should sort of like come back. And basically, the thing that it does when the message first comes into your phone, it checks to see if you already have the software installed. If you do not have the software installed, it's just going to prompt you to download it. And the software is free. So yeah, we're very nice. We try to build some democracy into the process. And I don't have it yet, so whenever it, it comes. <laughs> yeah, I, I can hug you. Yeah, usually when we give demo, then I end up hugging people if he doesn't come back. <laughs> yeah, you want to send me another one, maybe? I can hug myself. Yeah, okay, there is an irregular procedure that we call the sort of really irregular procedure. Oh, it's here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it took a while to go all the way back to Italy. I'm like, mm. So now it's going to basically start the application all by itself. Yeah, hug shirt, starting up. And now it's going to ask. So it's uh, asking me, do you want to connect Bluetooth? Yes. So if you turn around a little bit, yeah. you're going to see that there is a pattern blinking on the back side. When she's getting the message, this blinking is going to change. Yeah, OK. So, <laughs> so the blinking is going to change. I'm going to check out. I just do that. Yeah, that's great. Thanks. So it's telling I'm receiving a hug from Ryan. You want to get it? Look at that. <laughs> so how was it? <laughs> it's very nice. <laughs> still going because the script is quite a long time. <laughs> so I'm basically, <laughs> like, if your friend far away had the same shirt, you could send, now he's going to ask, do you want to send a hug? And you say, yes, I, I do. And you just send how it. How do so I know that it's the right one? No, you just look in this. I, I'm just doing on, on the back side, just to make sure they're talking. Just, just to make sure, since he wasn't coming before from the other thing. Yeah. So okay. Like yeah, basically. That's probably, probably the nicest thing we did. We did um, body storming sessions with like 50 people, 100 people, very, very fun. Basically, they were all wearing white t-shirts and uh, Ryan and I and other people in our team were going around with red markers and we asked people that didn't even know each other at the time to just hug each other for a very long time and we would go around marking the position of their hands on the other person's body. And some of them got married, for real, at the end of this. <laughs> like our best friend that just sort of met there and said, oh, I like to hug you, let's keep doing it. And, <laughs> and basically, these are the areas that people touch the most when they hug someone. So there is like this pink area here, here on the sides, but also, if you turn out, thanks, here on the neck, basically there is here on the neck, it gives a really nice massage when you get the hug. It's really relaxing. And sometimes we also suggest to use it for like, if you're stressed in the office, just give yourself a massage, you're gonna relax sort of sends me to sleep after a while. <laughs> yeah. So ca can other people try yeah. it later as well? Yeah, 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 of course. Just, just it's a little bit sh uh, small in the shoulder because this is a, like the sort of teenager version we have. We do not have a larger size. So if you feel like you have small shoulders, just come along and try it. And thank you. Thanks.